Hey guys, Robert here at the High Desert Ranch. Uh, I've got a short but very urgent and special edition uh, right here before you. I'm going to talk about uh, a startling discovery that uh, my buddy found as far as the answer to all the, the egg-laying uh, issues that you've probably heard about. So you don't want to miss this and only here on the High Desert Ranch channel. Alright guys, so um, that startling discovery because sometimes you, you hear a lot of rumors and some people they take things out of context or you know because it's the winter time right here in the high desert over 6,000 feet, your egg production goes way down. If 10 hen layers you might get uh, maybe two, three eggs a day. But some people that I've trusted and that I've followed on social media, they've had zero egg laying and it's just insane and crazy. So um, here it is guys, if you're buying feed from some of these major uh, outlets, even though they might have the label slapped on it, they're getting it all from basically one mill manufacturer or you know several large mills across the entire country. Where here locally, I know since 2020, uh, they've been sticking it to the little guy here by, I've had two huge massive mills uh, use the scenario and they've, <coughs> excuse me made it so they've just stopped selling to the little guy and even though some of us are buying 20 25 tons of feed we're still not considered big enough so there's been that so to have this kind of um, be be that by squeeze just squeezing and crushing the little guy it's really disturbing so uh, the things that are key to egg laying there's two uh, minerals and supplements that you're your chickens need and if you're buying this premix feed it's not just an accident this is intentional and this is you know it's like the saying of old there are conspiring men and uh, even women so uh, the the key ingredients to that are missing that when my friend had his analysis done is the lysine and and if you get like a hundred weight like a uh, 100 pounds of feed your the total makeup of that 100 pounds of feed should be right just above like one and a quarter percent of lysine minimum and the lysine actually helps to excuse me it helps to create the amino acids and then it helps to the protein to synthesize and then the other key ingredient too that they go hand in hand is the methionine and that right there it's in a much smaller quantity you're looking right around minimum of uh, 0.25 percent all the way up to about a third of a percent per 100 weight or 100 pounds so uh, and that helps to absorb the amino acids so if your hens don't have that they are not going to lay at all or very little especially in times of winter when it's cold when they need that protein they need those amino acids and if they're not getting those uh, they're not going to lay eggs and so my buddy he he was shocked and floored that he saw that um, come up in the lab test he had some other feed that he needed to be tested but that's that's the answer folks so uh, if you're you know if you have no other option if there's not another just local mom and pop feed mill down the road you've got to supplement that uh, in your chickens diet so you can go to a feed store uh, they have bags of mineral supplement and just look on the back of the ingredients list and see just uh, uh, if there's that lysine and methionine. Oh, you might also have an issue of uh, roosters or hens claiming to be roosters. So if you got that uh, thing happening going on, because there's a lot of that going on these days, they belong in the pot, make a nice little stew. So keep that in mind too. Methionine. So um, anyways, I hope that helps. Please share this far and wide. Uh, they... Um, we need to stick together and be able to have um, the resources um, to get through this because our, our, our food is under salt and protein is key. They've already jacked the prices up on our, our meat, whether it be chicken, pork, or beef. And now they're trying to jack up the cost on eggs because that's, for thousands of years, that's been one of the cheapest sources of protein. You know, it's, it's been the pauper's protein, as I, as I like to call it because anyone could keep a few chickens in the backyard feed them table scraps and even these guys people kept hogs because they need very little space but anyways guys i hope that uh, this was helpful and that today i was your ticket to help escape the ordinary and find out just what it's like live the highlight here in 
in the high desert of the Intermountain West only on the High Desert Ranch channel.